seconds to go. Ball rides into the front court. This Texas two-step is a big dance that will last forever. UConn is the national champion. April 7th, 2014, the UConn men's basketball team captures its fourth national championship. For Ryan Boatwright, the moment meant more than a title. My brother was murdered last year in January. It meant a lot, man. Um, you know, I had a rough year last year on and off the floor. We started off 9-0. You know, everybody was thinking we could do it, and then we hit a wall, and the whole world lost faith in us. But we knew from the beginning that we could win and turn around how it did. It was, it was just amazing. So, um, you know, I just took one knee and thanked them. Seven months removed from that emotional night in Arlington, Boatwright and the Huskies were named the American Athletic Conference's number one team in the preseason coaches poll. Boatwright was named the conference's preseason player of the year. But over the summer, when head coach Kevin Ollie was getting interest from NBA teams, Boatwright contemplated leaving too. I was thinking about leaving um, to go to the pro, and um, I just asked him flat out, asked him like, um, if I come back, are you going to be here? Like, I don't want to come back and play for nobody else. And he looked me in my eye and told me he was going to be here. And that sealed the deal for me. I believe him. He gives you all the confidence in the world. So uh, I, really, I won't play for no other coach. Despite having Boatwright and Ollie back at UConn, the road to another title will be a tough one for the Huskies without a major piece of last season's offense, Shabazz Napier, Boatwright's backcourt partner. He's a great teammate, um, great person. Um, you know, and on the court, he was fearless. And um, I think that's what made us the best backcourt in the country. We, was, we both little, but we both got a lot of heart and we don't fear nobody. Napier was the Huskies' leading scorer and assist man last season, so Boatwright, this season's only starting senior, knows he's the one who must push the backcourt forward. We just got to play together and, um, and have each other back. And, um, you know, it can't be no, no animosity and no jealousy between none of us. Um, I think that's, that's a, a huge step when, when you get um, a lot of uh, um, media attention and stuff like that. Um, I think it's huge um, between the backcourt. Boatwright is a co-captain for the upcoming year, and the Aurora, Illinois native brings an average of more than a dozen career points per game back to Gamble Pavilion, along with his drive, commitments, and leadership. He also knows he's only one piece to another title run. It's going to take everybody. Um, no one, one person didn't win that championship last year. It took everybody to win that championship, and I try to instill that into the teams. You know, we're going to go through some ups and downs as a team, but as long as we stay together and believe in each other, we'll be all right. It's already been a roller coaster ride for Boatwright at UConn. He's seen the program go from ineligible for postseason play to a national championship. For the senior, there's only one way for this ride to end. National championship, getting back to the final four. Anything else I would look at as a failure.